see this left over. Oh my god, my aim was insane on this one. Alright guys, so in order to find the perfect sense, I'm right here gonna open a hand cam for you uh, Just to see my hand because most of the people be like they want to see my hand when they want to watch videos So here you go. I'm gonna just open the hand cam right now and close this and you can see This is the hand cam right here Fixing the camera. All right, we're good to go All right guys, so right now you can see my hand. I don't use any think cheating and by the way this is a broken controller uh, i cannot play right now at the moment i have broken controller you can see the stick drift is too much anyway guys still this doesn't stop you from landing shots anyway uh so how to find your best sense first of all we're gonna start with default settings we're not gonna talk about default settings at all because default settings you really don't need it bro like like Honestly, some people will be like, okay, I want to try default setting. Then it's very easy. Default setting, there's many things you can try, but there's nothing you can find. So, for example, you can play 4-3 linear. Do you like it or not? You can play 5-4 linear, 6-4. There's no more options than this. So, we're not going to talk about uh, default settings at all. We're just going to talk about the ALCs right now. All right? So, starting with the ALCs, I'm going to go right here and turn this into default right now. Restore it to default. Okay, so how this is how you see your sense in the ALCs. It's gonna be 15 dead zone, 10 response given, all these. So let's talk about one and one and how to each one affect your aim and what's the best thing you need to play with. First of all, I have a question for you, or you have to ask yourself: What play style do you need? Do you like to play aggressive? Do you like focus on aiming? Do you like play tactical with aiming? Do you like use all the guns and you just landing all the shots with them? Do you like hip fire or do you like movement or do you like defensive? You, you have to pick which sense, I mean, what place are you need first before you pick your sense. All right. So this is the first step you guys need to do. And of course, you can't just do everything. You can see pros, play, pro players, they have disadvantages in so small things and they have advantages in many things or one things. For example, some pro players have an advantage with aiming. They are, their aim is so much good, but their movement is so much bad. This is common uh, between every player that you watch, every pro, pro player that you watch. All right, so let's jump straight right now. First of all, we're going to start with the aiming sense. So let's say you picked aiming sense. We're going to start first of all with dead zone and response curve. Here, this, the first step right here, this, these three right here. Okay, there's dead zone, auto threshold, response curve. We're not gonna touch auto threshold at all. Let's just leave this. First of all, we're gonna start with the dead zone. As it says, it's the inner range of the strict input. I don't want to jump into conclusion about this and waste your time. I'm just gonna tell you one thing, guys. Always use a low dead zone, whatever sense you use, whether it's aiming, movement, or whatever. You have to use a low dead zone. How much is a low dead zone? This is your question. The maximum set dead zone you can go, the highest, is 5%. The lowest you can go is 0%. Right? You can use 5, 3, 0. These are the given. Or 2% or whatever. You can just move the cursor and pick by each one. More and less. So, yeah. Let's say you picked 3%. This is like one of the best dead zones I feel, in my opinion. Alright, so the problem here... Okay, if you guys want to pick dead zone, you have to make sure that the response curve matches your dead zone. So, for example, if you have a high response curve, then you have to use a lower and lower dead zone. Yes, you can use 3%, but I recommend to use 0 even if you use 10 response curve, for example. 
Alright, we're gonna not jump into all this right now. Let's just say that zone you need a small. This is the first step. You passed. Now we're gonna go to the response curve. Alright, here where it comes aiming, movement, and all these. The lower the response curve you go, the more response the more responsive you are on the sticks. If you put zero, it's just so much responsive. And if you put it is a very high response curve, then it's gonna be very hard to move, okay? So what's the advantages? The advantages of a high response curve is aiming. Good aim. The disadvantages is tracking. Now we're gonna ask you how is aiming but not tracking. I'm gonna jump into this guys, don't worry. If you have a high response curve, you cannot track enemies because it takes time. It's not responsive that much. But it's good aim, good accuracy because it it needs time to move this so it will stick on the enemy. If if you know what I mean. So in order to have a balance, we can just go less. For example, 7, 8, 6, right? This is if you guys need aim. Focus on aiming more. You can use 7, 6, or 5. This is for aiming mostly. Now let's say you guys... Uh, this is, by the way, not just aiming. This is depend also on the muscles. So for example, you guys like to barely touch the analog. Or you like to use the analog, you, you, your hand is just so much pressing the analog. If your hand is like this much, you're, you're, it's like salt hand, you have salty hands, then you have to use high response curve. If you have a lean hand that barely moves, then you have to lo use lower response curve. Right? Let's say we pick 5 in the middle. Okay, in the middle. This is later you can change, by the way. Later. We can keep it right now for 5. Now here the Yao Sphinx and Peace Speed camera. First of all, everything extra, turn them off. Don't tell me any YouTuber that uses this on. I don't recommend them. I don't care about what YouTubers use. It's not always the best if YouTubers use them. Anyway, let's talk about camera. Uh, there's yaw speed and pitch speed. What do you need? The high? What do you need? The low? Now, of course, the higher yaw speed is better because you guys need to turn around. I recommend between 350 to 500. So, how to find the best yaw speed for you? Basically, it's just very easy. Put around 350, start with from start from 300, all right? And go to the here, to, to this uh, target, and try to track him left and right. Do you feel it's slow, it's uh, fast? Find it. Now, also, one thing you can do also, it's very important, is turn around and go to the target. Do you feel this is slow? For me, I feel it's slow, honestly. I feel it very slow. So I just crank it up. I feel like, oh, it's very good now. Yep. Yep. That's what I like. Okay, that's that's me personally what I like. But anyway, you can just max it and go lower, lower, lower until you feel you're more comfortable with moving like this a lot. So just do this, track the enemy right here with the fire, turn around. And that's it, you don't need a lot to know what you need to know about your speed. Uh, it depends, you like low sense or high sense also. So, pitch speed always need to be lower than your speed. Never use this even higher than pitch speed. Your speed, I mean. Pitch speed always have to be lower. Some people use the same. I don't recommend them to be the same unless you're using a low yaw speed. But we have high yaw speed, so we have to use lower pitch speed. Now, you're gonna ask me, why do we need high, low pitch speed? The reason you need lower pitch speed is for hip fire. If you have a high pitch speed up and down, then your tracking on the enemy is gonna be much worse. All right, so having a high lower pitch speed will help you with the tracking. So you can go as much as you want. You can go from 280 to 300 to 50. Depends what the sweet spot. So how can you find the sweet spot? The answer is right here. What you're gonna do is track this enemy as we did before with the yaw speed. Then suddenly switch to this target. Okay, it's gonna be like that. If you feel comfortable, then this is the yaw speed. The uh, pitch speed that you need. And another thing is try hip fire from long range. For example, this target right here. Right here, hip fire. And also this target. If you feel like your hip fire is not going up, then your, your, your pitch speed is very good. If you feel your hip fire is doing like this, recall, then there's a problem with your pitch speed. It's probably, probably too low. So if I put it like this, you can see how I'm not controlling it at all. So yeah. Now talk about the ADS. 
All right, this is a very, very important trick here. It's the same as here. You can use a high yaw speed and low pitch speed. Always use low pitch speed, even in the ADS. But I don't mean like that low. I can just crank it like here, 15. But yaw speed, here is the trick. Okay, here's the trick. The people use low sense and people use high sense. So what should you use? This is something very tricky that you need to know. Let's say you use high sense, for like me. Okay, I use high sense. So let's say you use high sense. Why do I use high sense? Okay. The reason I use high sense is because my play style let me use high high sense. So what is my play style? Is too much aggressive and on close range. I don't like always to hip fire, even though that people tell my hip fire is good. I like to aim sometimes like this. I like to do that. Okay. So if you feel like oh my god my aim. All right. If you feel like the hip fire right here. I mean the. Uh, uh, your playstyle right here is you like to aim on close range then I recommend to put it high but if you guys feel like from high range you need to land a lot of shots right if you need to land a lot of shots from long range or you fight a lot long range more than close range then it's better to try to put a low ADS sense if you care about ADS from long range only this is the whole trick right here all right now how can you find the IDS your speed how can you find them Pretty simple, you have to also track this enemy, like I'm doing right now, go back, little bit, go back, only this enemy by the way, and this also, everything down, don't go up, because we're, test we're testing only your speed, go here, and you can see like, if you try to land this shot on, the, on this dummy, and then go to this red target here, very fast, like this, then you're good to go. Your yaw speed uh, sense is very good. The pitch speed is very easy, very simple to know which pitch speed, pitch speed is good. Test the recoil. So, for example, you want land headshots. Do I have good recoil or no? Go up slowly from this dummy to this dummy to this dummy and see your recoil slowly. Do I need it high or low? Now, also, if you feel like there's no recoil but you're missing shots, okay, if you feel like you're not act your accuracy is really bad, not not that much good accuracy. Then you're using way too high your sp uh, pitch speed. For example, like that. If you have this, the problem with this, you can see the accuracy a little bit. It it loses a little bit of the shots. All right, it loses a little bit of the shots. So you need to find your perfect spot right here, and I told you how. Okay, with recoil and with accuracy. Recoil accuracy for pitch speed. This one is for tracking only. For tracking, it doesn't have to do with anything else than tracking. Here also the same. This is with tracking, fire, and also turn arounds. This one with hip fire recoil. Find your recoil. It's very simple. So you just need to go find if there is recoil too much on the pitch speed on the camera. I mean, then you're probably using a very high uh, pitch speed camera pitch speed. Let's say you finished, you find all these, now we're gonna go up again, alright? We're gonna go up again. After you test everything right here, you need to see that if you feel like there's something off, there's very something strong or or too lean, it's too raw input, get it higher. If you feel like it's too high a response gap, get it lower. You have to find your sweet spot right here. Uh, do you need it more responsive? Do you need it like less responsive? You have to pick it from there from this part and yeah this is how you actually find your own alcs i hope you guys enjoyed this video try to leave a like and subscribe and i'll drop more like these type of videos probably tomorrow i'm gonna drop another video explain to you guys another one about how to find settings but not the control setting not the alcs i mean uh, i mean something else anyway see you guys later peace out